Paul starts using his testimony as his defense. Here's what happened. Here's the turning point that transformed me as the greatest persecutor of Christians to one of the greatest disciples of Jesus to ever live. So today I want to explore Paul's testimony and what that reveals to us about the power and grace and calling that God gave to him and what that can mean for each one of us. But the first thing that we got to understand is Paul's journey to Damascus was interrupted by a divine encounter. In Paul's case, it was a bright light from heaven that surrounded him. And he heard the voice of Jesus. And in this encounter, in, in this encounter Paul just doesn't have this moment of illumination in his life. But it is a confrontation of Paul's misguided zeal in what he has been doing. Now remember, this is when he was still Saul. So Jesus asked Saul this question, why do you persecute me? Seems like a pretty straightforward question. But what it made Paul realize was when Paul was persecuting Christians, he wasn't just persecuting them, he was actually persecuting Jesus himself. And worse than that, according to scholars, when Paul was persecuting Christians, which in turn made him persecuting Jesus, he wasn't just persecuting Jesus, he was actually directly opposing the very person he claimed to be defending, the God of the universe. So as he is persecuting those Christians, he's actually persecuting the one he thinks he's defending. That revelation shattered Paul's perception and confronted his misguided zeal. And it fueled Paul's actions. It fueled him making a change to what he had been doing his entire life. I guess you could say Paul had the first come to Jesus meeting. And when he did, he was blinded by the light. Uh, some rock and roll fans. There you go. I love it. However, before we're too hard on Paul, we got to ask ourselves, what can we learn from Paul's encounter? Are there areas in our life where you may knowingly or unknowingly oppose the will of Christ? You see, this passage opens us up to the idea of facing the divine light of Christ and allowing that to correct our lives just like it corrected Paul's life. In Paul's case, the transformation came in the form of blindness. In his blindness, Paul asked one question. What shall I do, Lord? Which is Paul's way of showing a profound surrender to Christ's lordship in his life. That moment was pivotal. That moment marked a shift in Paul's life where he started to acknowledge Jesus as the ultimate authority instead of himself. It's not merely a question about Paul seeking direction, like what shall I do next? It was an acknowledgement of Christ's lordship in Paul's life. 